the, okay. The Paper Marios get increasingly dark as you go through, and this one's very... What is it? Not yeah. fate. Yeah, so, guys, huddle up. Okay, we're just gonna have a quick new minion orientation. Um... The, the, what, what is it? Not fatalism. Where is it fatalism? But, but, but everything is pointless in this. There are dimensions that existed for the sole purpose of housing a pure heart that you take, and now their purpose is completely... Uh, mm. not important. And so a lot of this game is about the meaningless of, meaninglessness of life. And then and the one after this, Color Splash, you're just an overt bad guy. And like one of the guys you kill literally says, hey, I remember talking to you on the train. Spoiler alert, guys. Watch our other series. Oh, by the time they see this one, it'll already be out. But yeah, they like you You, you killed somebody. He says, hey, it's a shame we were bad people. We could have been good friends. We were in a different world. And then he dies. That's you just horrible. kill them. Yeah, like they make you feel horrible for playing the game. At one point, it forces you to stop while there are five people holding up a log trying to prevent themselves from getting squashed. And the Toad's like, no, they need to be punished. Can you help me squash them? And so, what? even though they are armed, you go over and you jump on it and you're forced to crush them and kill them. Why? Because in that game, Mario's a bad guy. Like, it just gets worse as you go through the series. That's terrible. His name is Mr. L and he comes to us from one of our key competitors. Hmm, can't say I'm impressed by the minion quality. No, indeed. No wonder you've been trounced up till now. You're like junior minions. Junior! Come here, I'll introduce you to this junior and his wee pal Slappy. <laughs> we can't figure out if that guy is. Yeah, I, we can't Irish figure out if like he's country, Irish or. Like Southern. Spanked, you say? Actually, he didn't, because he didn't read it, he just skipped ahead. Ho ho, I was scouting him, dear. He will be mine next time. I like to think that, um... Is Luigi, like, a ballet dancer? Is yes, you shall know the fury of the one and only Mr. L. A. K. The Green Thunder. But enough about me. I, I need to head to the repair bay for robot modifications. So see that character, uh, L. Ater? Oh, I, <laughs> I was liking you, and now you're making puns. Um, so see the character, the blue... That's that Count girl? Book. Yeah. I like to think that she's like Aubrey Plaza. Yeah, actually, I was gonna say yes. I always, I always read her with her voice. That's awesome. Aubrey. Anyway. Though the man in red shall wield formidable powers, one shall stand against him. The man in green shall use the Chaos Heart's power to bring darkness to all. <laughs> so it is written in the Dark Prognosticus. So you're saying is the man in green is our minion in training, Mr. L? I don't like reading his voice. I really don't. Calm yourself, oh chunks. Make ready. Count Black is sending you on a new mission. I think you should be Irish. I don't do good Irish accents, even though I have Irish in me. Aren't we? Aren't? Oh, look, they're doing it too. My, aren't we hot blooded? Well, well, I suppose. <laughs> I'm angry now. I've got to be on my way as well. Ciao. Sorry that we're angry. So poor little Mimi doesn't get to be on all the fun. This stinks. Yeah, I hate to seem like a whistleblower here, but O-Chunks may not actually, even Dementio, Mimi, and Mr. L may not be up to this. My hero is going to collect the pure hearts and come here. He'll come for you. This is all according to plan. Count Black assures you. I wanted to hear you read the people that. I always hear it as like Koto Sensei. Yeah. It's, it's like strange. Me. Nobody ever um, cherished the universe the way you once did. And yet, you've been made to destroy it. Oh. Read his line. Wait, no, no. She's anybody. Nastasia? Yes, she's Nastasia. She's been Nastasia this whole time. That's not the Is that letter. who the love letters no, are from? No, that's not the love letters. That's quite enough, that's enough, Anastasia. If I could, um, I... You'd what? If only I could have, you know, been that girl. Things oh. Would have been different. She cannot be replaced. You can never hope to do so, Anastasia. Ow, that's so harsh! Oh. Yeah, um, I'm very sorry. That just slipped out for me. Poor thing. To be sure, she is gone. Gone from all the worlds. Never to return. Oh. 
At least, like, the character development in this is good. What? What are you thinking? There's no possible way. No one would allow it. If we can't be happy here, we must leave for a place that will accept our love. But, Blumiere, is there such a place? Think. I can't bear to see you hurt again. If our love has no home, let us spend our lives searching together. So I beg of you again. Timpani, marry me. I promise I will make you happy. You just won't give up, will you? Of all the crazy, stubborn, foolish men. Timpani, answer me, please. Lumiere, I love you. Take me away. Take me away to a world where we can be happy. Oh, no. And here we are. Now I've gotten five pure hearts. This is turning into quite a collection. Wah, uh. <laughs> what I tell you, huh? You've got the king of all evilness on your side. You can't go wrong. No, Bowser's supposed to sound bad, or, uh, what? The... Uh, excuse me? I've only got one voice. <laughs> that said, we owe scripts for helping us find this one. We should be grateful. Say, hey, Tippy, something seems different about you recently. You seem a little bit more cheerful. It's a nice change. <laughs> you think so? Well, ever since you saved me from Fort Francis, I've been feeling really good. I feel like I could just hang around with Mario forever. No, no romantics. What? what? I'm confused. So she's in love with Mario? That small butterfly? It's a pixel. Or uh, pixies, but yeah. How, how was it this time, then? Did you find another pure heart in outer space? Yes, you found the fifth pure heart in this one. Uh Oh, she dead. Oh. Huh? What? Tippy. What has happened? All of you come to my house at once. Hurry now. Uh, they don't make me have to walk to the house. Let's take a breath and gather ourselves here. I'm concerned. Tippy may be unable to maintain her pixel form for much longer. What? Her pixel form? What the heck does that mean? Well, you see, Tippy was not always a pixel. So she is tempting me. I found her in her true form, exhausted, cursed to wander through dimensions forever. She was hanging by a thread, barely alive, so I took a desperate measure. Using my ancestor's magic, I transformed her soul into a pixel. And this Tippy was born. I can hardly believe it. So where is Tippy from originally, then? She had lost her memory, so I had no idea who she is or where she is from. But I can't help thinking she did not come here by chance. Fate connects us. My intuition in this area is rarely mistaken. Wow, Bowser has, like, stupid flexibility. <laughs> the void has grown larger, and these tremors have become common, I'm afraid. Our situation grows more dire by the moment. Will the events written in the Light Prognosticus really forestall the foretold doom? I will watch over Tippy, young heroes. Excuse me, take the pure heart. Find the next heart pillar. Okay, well, that took a sobering turn. So we're gonna have to find out what happens to her in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, a like, subscribe would be amazing. Also, turn off ad block, you jerks. Good night. Good night. Aren't you gonna say good night? No. Rude. Lindsay's not saying good night. Lindsay's rude.